What's up guys, today is the drop of Fontaine, I have updated the game and honestly last night I could not sleep because I was just going through the Genshin Instagram page and I was just going through all of the new Fontaine stuff and honestly I didn't, I didn't leave it overnight to update, I literally woke up in the morning and the first thing I did was update the game and here we are. So let's dive deep into... Genshin 4.0 I'm actually so excited I have not seen any other gameplay apart from the trailers and um, videos from Gacha Gamer for like the builds and stuff like that I'm actually playing this before I go to gym as well because I just can't help but get like Oh, I'm so I'm so excited. I'm actually excited for this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah, I can't contain myself. I'm so excited. Oh my god. This is going to be literally one of the best updates for the game. I I don't know, like Fontaine just it's one of my favorite um areas. I wonder where it's going to be though. Like are we near Monstad? Are we near like Lee there? Even in Azuma, who knows? I think we're near Mondstadt though. I have a feeling we're closer to Mondstadt. Which I don't really I don't really mind, honestly. I feel like there's going to be um connections, you know, of course with like Mondstadt characters, Lee there, uh Inazuma, Sumeru. I'm just so stoked for this. Also guys, if you want to add me on Genshin, I'm always happy to add people back and that's my UID. It's crazy because I'm from the UK and I play on <laughs> the NA servers. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, let's let's have a look at the map. Okay, where where is it going to <gasps> Oh my god, it's whoa, it's closer to thing. Oh, I did not expect that. Damn. You will encounter teleport waypoint and do domain entrance. Okay. Oh. Okay. Damn. That's that's interesting. Okay, I guess we have to go to... I guess we're going to do it from Sumeru. I just want to have a look at the map and see if anything else has changed. Okay. Ah. Okay, let's have a look at the... The wishes. I... Oh my god. Wait. I actually don't know who to wish for. Ah, I'm thinking of going for... I don't know... I do want... Oh, this is such a hard... I don't... I, the thing is that um, I love how I'm like thinking who to wish for, but I don't even have Primo gems. I guess we could just... Actually, after we're done with... With some of the stuff, I'll probably wish... For now, I might just save some Primo gems. Okay, let's see what new events look like. Ooh! Let the magic begin! Oh, we get a free character! Lynette, she's animal. Let the magic begin. I think Time for afternoon tea. This is wow. New area, of course. Oh my god, I actually like the way this boss fight is. The lone uh suzerain of land and sea. I don't know if we our good old. Um, I forgot the name of this abyss. Let the magic. Damn. Okay. Yeah. yeah. This stuff is the. Oh yeah, we get the um, hydro uh, traveler now as well. I want to like kind of see what what she plays as. What the? Whoa. They changed it? No, I actually... 
I actually likes the original. Holy shiz! Okay. You lead the way. Yeah. Actually, that was unexpected. I actually think this is cool. Oh, so oh, they all have their different poses. That's actually cool. That's actually fucking cool. What's that tax? Oh, you can. I actually like the way she plays. Who's that? Did she run by herself? Over here. That's actually cool. I actually like. I might build this character. Yeah. For the time being, I'm probably going to switch back to my. Uh, let's switch back to. Let's go. Let's switch knowledge to guide you. This is. So, uh, damn. I actually did not expect that. That was sick. Okay. Um. Once of force. Let's there was that. a. We've seen that many times. New BP weapons. Whoa. Whoa. Wait. What the crit rate? Oh, okay. Oh no, no, no. that's like. Wolf Fang. Damn, they really did add new weapons. That is actually mad. Okay. Wow. Okay, let's actually start doing the quests. And by quests, I mean the Archon quests. Soloists. Prologue, prelude of Blanca and what I don't I'm not even going to try. Okay. Let's do this. Oh, she's so stoked. Ooh. Oh god. I added so much new stuff. I did not expect all that new stuff to be added at all. That really caught me off guard, to be fair. Like, damn. I did not expect the party setup, uh, the way they reskinned it. I did not expect new BP weapons. That really, like, shocked me. And the stats actually, the, the stats actually look pretty cool as well at the same time. Okay, let's do this. the first time we came here. Oh, Paimon remembers! Nahida's consciousness had been trapped by the doctor, but we followed the clues she left behind to help her! Good memory, Paimon. I guess we have stumbled upon this place at some point here. Good memory. So much time has already passed since then, mm -hmm. and it seems Sumeru is changing for the better now that Nahida's in charge, right? Mm. Paimon just hopes this peace will last a long time, and then Nahida won't have any more new problems to deal with. But as long as... Yeah, I guess you're right. Hmm. We somehow always find ourselves right in the thick of it. Who knows what will happen next? Mm -hmm. Come to think of it, maybe it's all because of you. Maybe you're just a magnet for trouble. <laughs> Either. I was just thinking that you might... Yeah, you, <gasps> that's true. Me? Before Paimon ran into you, Paimon never ran into any trouble. At most, when she was super tired, Paimon got caught in some strange whirlpool and sucked out into sea. And even then, you fished Paimon out. <sighs> anyway, for Nahida's sake, maybe we should think about heading to our next destination for now. Next up, fun time. Uh, look who it is. Damn. Running into you in a place like this? I can see you two still love wandering around. Oh, it's Dia. Dia. Hmm. Since when are we just wandering around? We're usually taking care of some serious business. Even though it may have nothing to do with our journey. But never mind that. What brings you here? 
I just finished a commission in the desert for a usual client of mine. Nothing too interesting. Just escorting a shipment of goods. I'm on my way to report back. Damn. That's when I saw There's you two really all the way over there, chatting away. What were you two talking about anyway? We're preparing to leave Sumeru and head to Fontaine. Oh. Huh? Y you serious? Can't say I saw that coming. Hmm, but you are travelers after all. I guess you'd never stay for too long in one place. Bumping into you like this will become a rarity. Ah, I'm starting to feel sad just thinking about it. Hey, how about I gather a few mercs to escort you two? What do you say? Yeah, sure. Thanks, but no need. Oh. oh, Paimon had no clue you'd miss us so much. But don't worry, we'll come back to see everyone when we get a chance. <laughs> Sounds good. All you need to do to get to Fontaine is cross this stretch of desert and navigate some waterways. Knowing you two, I'm sure it won't be anything you can't handle. So, uh, when are you leaving? We're leaving now. Leave as soon as we finish Oh, wait a sec. Paimon just remembered there are still a few dishes in Sumeru that Paimon hasn't tried yet. Now, where's that list Paimon made? Oh, Lord, Paimon. Hmm. <laughs> I see. Guess you won't be needing a going away party or anything. She's actually it's sad, sad enough to see you go sad. like this. Though, now that I think about it, Sumeru wouldn't be what it is today without you. Seems true heroes always prefer leaving quietly. <laughs> sure By the way, should we go say bye to Nahida? Oh, good point. Then there's no need to bother her in the real world. Then I guess this is goodbye for now, Traveler and Paimon. Whether as a client or a friend, you're always welcome to come find me. Take care, dear. Bye -bye, I still need to wish for her as well, because I do want to get her. to get crazy. That's all I can say. Oh, we're at the desert. There's a <gasps> Fontaine. It's on wall. Oh my god, viewpoint. Source Horse of Nation added to archive. Oh god. It's oh, I, I'm guessing we go to. Okay. Let's glide to the boat. Because I know that we're supposed to. There's no way I'm supposed to, like, swim, right? I mean, I could, but. Wow. This thing is beautiful. It's it's smaller than I expected. Or maybe it's going to be like how it was with Inazuma, where bit by bit we get new um, areas with e each new update. It's like 4.5, etc. Wow. Wow, Tava is actually huge now that I think about it. Okay. Let's unlock. Wow, look at the boats. Ah! <laughs> Wave Rider on the left. Summon a boat. Oh my god, I remember the first time they like, uh, added this into the game. With the uh, summer, the Golden Archipelago event. Mm, could grab that. Might as well grab it. Okay, let's get a Quake! God, I'm actually. <gasps> I need people. 
Hello. It's about what I imagined. It's even Just more... Just seeing the sights as a tourist is nice, but maybe it would be better if we found something to do. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Let's grab food. Let's start by meet... It's not that easy, man. <laughs> we can't just meet the Hydro Good Orphan idea. that quick. Nahida gave us loads of useful information. Folklore. Seeking out the Seven is probably still our best source for information at this point. Our journey is to find my sibling and also find the truth. The truth. What could that be? Our oh, sister. What the fuck is that? What are you? No one told me this game was about furries. Yeah, the more we can learn, the better. So, hmm. what do you think the Hydro Archon's like? Will we get along? Nahira said that she has a very unique personality. Whatever that means. Oh, God. Thinking. To learn about a Thinking. nation's god, start with the nation's people. There seems to be some locals talking over there. Let's go see if we can join the party. Mhm. Mm I expected it to be. If you ask me, stuff. it's a tragedy how things ended for him. Clearly, he was a pretty decent person. Yeah, I didn't expect that kind of ending for him. So I thought he would at least fight on a little longer for his family. Oh, I was expecting a sudden plot twist, but it's a pity that it never happened. Still, oh, his story is quite about, the oh, tearjerker. Uh, excuse me. Can I help you too? I couldn't help but notice you standing here listening. Oh, uh, you could be. You could be <laughs> We're travelers new to Fontaine. She's like and right we there. had something we wanted to ask, but you seem to be really busy talking about some kind of play, so we didn't want to interrupt. A <laughs> uh, play? Oh, no, no, no. Oh. We're talking about something that really happened. In fact, it's a case that was just heard a few days ago. Really? Oh, God. Like, a real trial? What oopsie poopsie But the way you were talking about it and the words you used just now made it sound like some kind of story. Well, good tales are often based on true stories, aren't they? And what you see in reality may also be someone deliberately putting on an act while harboring ulterior motives. Mm, Whether sure. something is true or not Why simply so isn't that important. Like, the main thing is whether the story being acted out on the stage is splendid enough. Oh, but it looks like you're not from around here. You probably don't know that the Fontaine Court of Justice is called the Opera Epicles, or more commonly known as just the Opera House. So they see trials... Oh, okay, that's fucked up, bro. But, what the uh, shouldn't court cases be treated a little more seriously than that? Not to question Fontaine's way of doing things. It's just that putting someone on trial is in usually a very serious on? thing. <laughs> no worries. Other visitors to Fontaine have wondered the same thing. You could say that we just don't want to waste the moving stories behind those cases. And as scary. for your worries about whether the cases are treated with due reverence, we have the absolutely just and honorable Chief Justice Nouvellet, as well as the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal, what are these a machine names? created by the Archon. Between the machine and the Chief Justice, false charges and injustice are a thing of the past now. So, a judgment device created by the Archon. So this is the nation of justice. The Oratrice? Is it some kind of machine too? Oh, Paimon's curious. We should check it out if we get the chance. No, thank you. Wait, Paimon almost forgot to ask you our question. Um, do you know what we should do if we want to meet the Hydro Archon? Oh, that's easy. Just go to the Opera House. Lady Farina practically lives there. 
You could definitely say it's her biggest passion. Lady Farina. Uh -huh. I think what they mean is that they wish to speak with the Archon personally. In that case, I'm afraid it's going to be a tad more difficult. You'll have, You'll have to make an appointment well in advance, and it'll depend on whether or not she has any time slots available. Is she a dentist or something? Is she a g general practitioner? What in the- Bro, we could barely get one in Inazuma, let alone in Fontaine. And in Fontaine, you have to just book an appointment. Are you- oh, I, huh. uh, is the Hydro Archon super busy taking care of official stuff? More like being Wait, a sadistic twat. Wait, can you say that she's always at the Opera House? No, no. Lady Farina seldom takes an interest with the nation's affairs. The reason it's difficult to make an appointment is simply because she's incredibly popular. That's right. After all, she is the Archon. Mm. Though she may tend to get a little dramatic from time to time, people can't get enough of she's her. She's like a celebrity. Huh. First wow, time so Herman's ever heard likes, of an Archon being described that way before. She likes the attention, whilst the other ones <gasps> don't like the attention. Wait! Herman gets now! Yeah, that's what I said! The Hydro Archon like is kind of like a big celebrity here, right? Yeah, I suppose you could oh, say God, that. Why is he saying <laughs> it in a scary way? Perhaps you could way. even say our mascot. Hang on. This is still Fontaine's Archon you're talking about. Oh, he's gonna you go. should show some more respect. Yes, you're right. I guess I should at least try to be a little more respectful in front of visitors. Otherwise, I might get arrested and find myself face to face with Monsieur Nouvellet. <laughs> Come on. Sure, there's a lot of laws here. But nobody's going to be arrested for saying something disrespectful about the Hydro Archon. Yeah, Alright, really like I think we get it. Thank you! At least we now know that we can find the Hydro Archon at the Opera House. Something tells me it's not going to be easy. We're actually going to be faced with a boss fight. Who knows fight. how long making an appointment will take? <sighs> Guess we could have a look around the city in the meantime. Mm -hmm. Hey! What are you looking over there for? There's a girl over there. She's been standing there for, for quite a time. Huh. The net. Maybe something's the matter. <gasps> she isn't going to jump into the water, is she? Mm -mm. Uh, maybe we better go check on her. Our first friend, Lynette. Wow. What is this notice board? The bulletin board is specifically Reading. Wanted, name unknown, seeking any and all relevant information. Male font Fontaine. <laughs> One leg is. Rewards are available for. La 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 la. If you have any, please contact the Mace Mason. Continue reading. The Mason would like to remind you that the rumors are over the desert. Large number of corn cells. Ermites have been active nearby. Merchants passing through should remain vigilant. If you see anything, say something. Contact. La 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 la. Reading. Attention, all visitors. Uh, arrests made by the mayor. If you wish to upload your own. How much is there? Okay. Okay, this is too. I'm gonna like, explore and see what we have here. What, is, what are you? Hello there, the wind and the waves are both placid today. That makes for less stories, but at least people, these people are obsessed with stories. Any tourist mentioning? Uh, Sing Show would love it here. Yeah. Oh, so that, okay, that's how we'll go up. Okay, let's actually go. Go talk to that person. You're not going to jump in, are you? Oh god. The suspense. Uh, hello there! Excuse me! Are you alright? Huh? Ah, I'm fine. Thanks. You don't look fine. Oh, okay then. We just noticed that you seem to be worried about something. About many things, actually. 
but there's nothing I can do but just keep my troubles to myself. I was just reminiscing about a place my brother and I would play when we were kids. It was just atop that hill over there. See? So they went to... Uh, you're pointing at the sea. <laughs> Wait, are you saying that you and your brother lived in the water? Oh yeah, I forgot there's like an underwater thing. No people call the waters around Fontaine a sea. It's actually just an inland lake that's filled with fresh water. In and no, lake. I can still see that hill clearly in my memories. Now, it's been completely submerged. So wait, huh? He would skip and jump, tossing sand in the wind. The sun shone brightly, and the air was filled with the scent of the sea. Damn. But now, the water is gradually swallowing our memories. <sighs> it won't be long before it swallows us. really get what you mean. Ah, I don't believe we've had the pleasure of meeting. Are you Lynette's new friends? Oh, oh and you are? Lene. Thanks for looking after my sister. She often comes here to reminisce about our childhood, I... that's all. There's no need for any concern. Oh, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Linny, and this is my sister Lynette. If I had to guess, I'd say you must be travelers from abroad. They've definitely heard nice of us. Nice to meet you! Paimon is Paimon, and this is the Traveler. We just arrived in Fontaine. We were just talking with your sister. Uh, even though we didn't really get what she was saying. Mm -hmm. hmm, I see. It's unusual for Lynette to be so willing to talk with anyone. In fact, she seldom speaks at all. I like this. I'm usually the only one she ever talks to. Oh, really? Then you two are just like us! Paimon's always the one talking yeah, for some reason. Are they like half like cat or something? Are they like cat cat people? I'm so confused. Like she has ears, but he, uh, I'm assuming he does too. <laughs> so that's how you think it is? Mm -hmm. I also think my brother can be too talkative at times. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Seems you were right, Paimon. We are quite similar. <laughs> so, what did Lynette mean just now when she said that the water is engulfing your memories? And that it won't be long before it engulfs you too? Some lore. Oh, that. It's from a prophecy that's been circulating in Fontaine for some time now. Well, I suppose prophecy isn't exactly the right word, because that implies a certain amount of uncertainty. There's no doubt about what's happening in Fontaine now. Oh, what's happening in Fontaine? Where Please to begin? Us. Hmm. Let's put that question on hold for a moment. We still haven't formally greeted each other yet, have we? What is actually uh, Did all the introductions earlier not count? <laughs> Hello, traveler. What the fuck? <laughs> Hello, Linny. It's a pleasure to meet you. Hello. I was gonna... And hello, Paimon. This is so goofy. And hey! Weird. Why did Paimon get a handshake? You're not poking fun at Paimon, are you? <laughs> Please, don't take offense. Just consider it a sort of etiquette we have here in Fontaine when making new friends. You should remember it. It might prove useful. Oh, oh he's giving us a, right a then. tip. Well, Paimon's just happy to have a local friend now. By the way, we were just getting ready to go to the Opera House to meet the Hydro Archon. Would you be able to show us the way? <sighs> so you're going to see Lady Farina? No problem at all. In fact, I was planning to go to the Opera House later myself. I'll gladly take you once I finish things here. Please, hey. follow me. He seems sus to me for some reason. He seems suspicious. Like, what are these people, like, hiding and the way they talk? Is so Uh, you said you were going to see Lady Farina? Well, it seems Lady Farina has come to see you. Oh? The Hydro Archon has come to see us all of a sudden. What the? Is that actually... 
Wait, the, the hydro all gone, right? I'm so confused. What the? Oh, right. There she is. Huh. So, she's the hydro icon? But, how did she know we were looking for her? Yeah. My dear people, rich and poor, those with cup in hand and those with nothing at all. Raise your glasses in celebration! If you don't have one, then just raise your hand and leave. As you can all see, two unfamiliar travelers have arrived in our nation. Come, let us make a toast in honor of this traveler and his companion who have journeyed here from distant lands. Okay. That's what she said, but... Uh, is she talking about us? <laughs> but I'm not even, I don't know. Nobody here seems to be holding a voice. I've long heard of the turmoil and chaos you've left in your wake as you visited other nations. But I welcome you nevertheless. Oh my god, she hates us. No, I have come to receive you personally. Fear is for... Insignificant cowards. I am a god, and I will never entertain the notion of such meaningless wariness. You can be rest assured. I see clearly your sincerity. Of course, seeking an audience with me is the most sensible thing to do. It will allow you to truly behold my power and witness my authority. Intelligent people always gather under the <laughs> correct banner. I, Fosalor, hereby welcome you oh, to the nation of Hydro and it. acknowledge Fosalor. the value and significance of your trip. Now, you may rejoice in this. Oh, she looks pretty. <laughs> well, finding the Arkham was easy enough. Yeah, you yeah. said it, man. We, find, we found it. We found it. Such ease. Feels like we've only been here for exactly. a few minutes. And we, and she's already. But here. the Hydro Arkham's entrance was. Uh, how should Byman describe it? A little over the top? Ahem. <clears throat> uh, Miss Hydro Icon? How did you know we were coming? Uh, I see. As Outlanders, you inevitably lack even some of the most basic understanding. Don't forget that even the gods can be divided into the mediocre and the excellent. I suppose it's only natural oh, no. for you to be she's awestruck by my abilities. Uh, she's, yeah, she's you had best one. stop and consider. Do you really have the noble Stoke qualities up. and etiquette necessary to communicate with a god? All it takes is a flick of my finger for me to know everything about you. Oh no, it was him! Talk about sounding high and mighty. It was that guy! <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm what's the with start. these looks? Perhaps the welcoming ceremony oh, still God. isn't enough? We've been found out. Hmm. Uh, is she waiting for us to start talking? Wow, I didn't expect to see Lady Farina here. What a surprise! Wait, does this mean they're the legendary blonde traveler? How did I not Most notice before? Themselves. Hey, what's all the commotion? Oh, is that Lady Farina? Is there some kind of drama going on? Of course! That's the blonde traveler! The one all those stories are about! Lady Farina came here to personally see him. Oh, I bet this is gonna be the duel of the century. Oh, I've got to see this! I knew Lady Farina would never disappoint! <laughs> yes! Don't get too excited now. Oh, My me. dear believers and spectators alike tend to get quite rowdy. And despite the noise, I've come to tolerate all their ruckus. You may consider this my reward to all of you. I have determined that there will be an epic duel between myself and this traveler from another land. Just as you were hoping fighting. to see. Uh, now she wants to fight? Do Are we getting a little ahead of ourselves? Fighting gods, I've got a resume. <laughs> Bring it on. This one, come at us. 
Oh god, this is an actual fight. Alright, come. Yeah, I, I guess we're fighting. Bring it on, lads. Bring it on, you chumps. Stand back, everybody. Everybody. <laughs> Are you not afraid? Might I remind you that this is a duel Lady, against the divine? I have fought countless. What are you gods. trying to do, traveler? Provoking a god in front of her people? Shut up, you <laughs> knock off Stand down, We are going to I admire his bravery. The shit. Few have the courage to draw right their sword against a god. He is obviously a true warrior. Yeah, we've beaten stuff. <laughs> Unfortunately, people nowadays only crave to be thrilled, and a mere duel will not slake their thirst for excitement. No, nope, oh. you're scared. Yeah, she's right. Just a duel wouldn't be all that interesting. She's a pussy. <clears throat> On Aranius, criminals are always requesting duels to defend their honor. I'm getting a bit old to tell the truth. You see, then as the god of justice, I shall face this traveler in another kind of duel. Oh. A duel in court! Okay. Oh, on, all right! See. Now yeah. that'll be worth seeing! Right. This is Fontaine, after all. Such a grand opera house, it would be a pity not to use it. Why do you care so much about the crowd's reactions? Seems you've spent a little too much time in the opera house. Besides, how exactly do you plan to have a duel in court? You mean you're going to put us on trial? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have reason to put you on trial. What is this woman's it's obvious, team? isn't it? Obvious. According to Fontaine Law, no one is permitted to release any flying objects within Fontaine city limits during the first three days of each month. Huh? You are clearly guilty of violating this law, run, no? Run. Oh, so that's what they've done wrong. Wait. Mm, that's our lady Farina. What did we do? No one knows the laws of Fontaine like she does. You call that obvious? <gasps> you mean timer? Oh. Precisely. Now, if you two have no objections, Run. then Run. in the name of the Hydro okay. Archon, I order your arrest. Chase. My apologies, oh. Lady Farina. I don't mean to spoil the fun, but if you would allow me to interject, I don't think that Paimon here meets the definition of a flying object. So, uh, so you tell her, Linny. Finally, someone who's not crazy. Anyone call Paimon a flying object? Ah, great magician Linny, my beloved citizen. I'll permit you to object, but how exactly do you plan to prove your claim? <laughs> As a magician who just rained on your parade, I naturally should shoulder the responsibility of saving the show. So, with such an audience gathered here, allow me to perform a trick for everyone. Yay. The this. Whoa. Ta da! What, wait, what? what? What's that on Paimon's back? Hey, when did you do that? Ah, when Lenny patted you on the back. Oh! He put like a tethering string, so. Oh, so we don't, because he knew that what the Hydro there. Archon would do. As you can all clearly see, Paimon should be classified as, well, something like a balloon. This rope has been in the Traveler's hand all along. It was just that no one could see it before. <laughs> you call that magic? <laughs> You've got to be joking. Shut up. <laughs> I thought it was pretty good. Nice one. Huh. I, I'm not sure what to think. It seems Lady Farina's charges no longer hold water. <laughs> she got caught out. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do anything about that. Amusing. Very <laughs> amusing, Minnie. No Just the sort of unexpected twist that I enjoy. With you here, today's performance can finally be called complete. Performance? You see 
all this as a performance? This woman's In which stay. case, consider the matter of your trial resolved. The god of justice will not bring charges against an innocent person. But when there are valid grounds, I will not only judge travelers from abroad, but even the gods of other lands. <laughs> oh my god, that is something. I look forward to seeing your upcoming performance at the Opera House, Mr. Linny and Miss Lynette. That's enough for now. Toodaloo! God damn, this woman's crazy. She summoned herself, her army, just to put us on a fake trial for no apparent reason. Thing. That? And just like that, she's gone! Well, that's the most unpredictable Archon Paimon's ever seen. We never even had a chance to ask her anything. But that's a problem for future Paimon. Thanks for that whole scene us. just now mean. was really... <sighs> Don't mention it. I just happened to remember that there was such a law, so I did a little preparation, just in case. I didn't think it would actually come in handy. So, now do you see what kind of god Lady Farina is? She can be a bit confusing at times, but she is still amenable to reason. Is she really that reasonable, though? Anyway, Paimon had no idea you were a magician, Linny. It sounded like you'll be performing at the Opera House, right? <laughs> I just know a few simple tricks I use to make a living. Lynette is my assistant. It will actually be my first time performing on the most prestigious stage in Fontaine. The Opera House. But isn't the Opera House where criminal trials are held in Fontaine? When there are no public trials being held, the Opera House hosts a variety of other performances. To the people of Fontaine, the line between a trial and a performance can be a little blurred. These people are and speaking of performances, I would be remiss to forego this opportunity gifted by fate. Might I invite the two of you to see my performance? Hey. My brother's always excited to make new friends. Oh, sure. We don't really have anything to do now, and we wanted to go to the Opera House anyway. Splendid. In that case, why don't we go together? I'll show you the way. I just have something to take care of first. Oh, you really mean it? Then I'll take you up on your offer. This is a magical item known as a magic pocket. Perhaps you can help me distribute them to the people here. A magic pocket. Huh? What are they going to use it for? About that. Hmm. You asked me before about the prophecy, right? Let me start by telling you a little more about what it entails. I'm not sure exactly when it began, but a prophecy has been circulating around Fontaine. It says that every person in Fontaine is born with sin. No matter how the Nation of Justice holds trial after trial, this sin cannot be absolved. Until one day, the water levels in Fontaine will rise, and the sinful people will slowly be drowned. In the end, the people will all be dissolved into the waters, and only the Hydro Archon will remain, weeping on her throne. Only oh. then will the sins of the people of Fontaine be washed away. That's messed up. That sounds pretty gloomy. Why are people in Fontaine born with sin? What is that supposed to mean? Related to, like, the Archon War and everything. There are lots of guesses. Some say that the ancestors of Fontaine stole the power of the seas and stirred its wrath. Others say that the people of Fontaine never heeded the first Hydro Archon's warnings and offended Celestia. But here in Fontaine, evidence is what matters. There hasn't been concrete evidence for any of these claims, so they can only be regarded as conjecture. If even the people in Fontaine don't know what sin they committed, wouldn't it be better just to ignore the prophecy completely? Why bother feeling guilty all the time? That's exactly what the people did at first. But in the last few years, the water levels in Fontaine have actually started rising. Oh no. Hmm. Many places have already been completely submerged, and now lie beneath the sea. 
Many people carry on with their lives as before and shrug it off as a natural phenomenon. But my family and I think that the people of Fontaine shouldn't ignore the possibility, which would end up sentencing them to death. We hope that at least the people who reside near the waterfront can move away before it's too late. So, we've started distributing magic pockets to them. As a magical item, these magic pockets have astonishing capacity. I'm sure they will come in handy when people are moving their belongings. Oh, Hyman gets it! It's like preparing for a rainy day! But this is more than a bit of... Hmm. Perhaps only absolute power could ever contend with such a catastrophe. <laughs> but who knows? We're just tiny specks in the grand scheme of things. Now, if you'd like to help, then please give these magic pockets to anyone nearby. Be sure to convince them to take it, regardless of what they say. Yes, sir. <laughs> Damn. 